Let's start with question number 28. Now the question you see belongs to section thermodynamics. As per the question, a thermally insulated vessel contains 150 gram of water at 0 degree centigrade. So then the air from vessel is pumped out adiabatically. That means there's no heat exchange from the surroundings. A fraction of water turns into ice and the rest evaporates. That means some amount of energy was taken out and it was given to some amount of water to evaporate. So the mass of evaporated water will be so these are the values which is given to us that is the latent heat of vaporization and latent heat of fusion of water. So if you assume that some m mass of water has evaporated then the total energy exchange that is let's take it as Q would be m into LV that is mass which has been evaporated into the latent heat of vaporization of water and from the 150 gram m mass has been lost and rest has suffered the fusion right so from here you will get m into what is the latent heat of vaporization that is given as 2.1 into 10 to power 6 joule per kg equal to 150 minus m as some amount has been lost from vaporization and this would be 3.36 into 10 to power 5 right now on solving this you will get m as simply m equals to 20 grams now let's see which is the best suited option among the four. So option number three would be right answer to this question. Now let's move ahead with our next question that is question number 29. Now this question is a pretty simple and as repetitively in J means. This question belongs to wave optics and the topic would be interference. In interference experiment, the ratio of amplitudes of coherent waves is given as A1 by A2 is equal to 1 by 3. The ratio of maximum and minimum intensities will be. So pretty simple and formula based question. What would be the formula? So that would be I max by I minimum. That is equals to A1 plus A2 divided by A1 minus A2 whole square and that would be 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 whole square equal to 4. Let's see which is the best suited option. Option number 1. Pretty simple and easy question. Now let's move ahead with the last question of this paper that is question number 30. Now this question belongs to mechanics of the topic solids. A boy's catapult is made up of rubber cord which is 42 cm long with 6 mm diameter of cross section and of negligible mass. The boy keeps a stone weighing 0.02 kg on it and stretches the cord 20 cm back by applying a constant force. When released, the stone flies off with a velocity of 20 m per second. We have to neglect the change in the area of cross section of the cord while stretching. The Young's modulus of the rubber would be. So let's see. It is a simple case that some potential energy was stored in the rubber band which later on led to gain of kinetic energy of that stone, right? So you will say half into y into delta L by L whole square into volume that is area into length that would be equal to half m v square. That is the total energy stored in the form of stress or strain in the material of rubber has been converted into the kinetic energy of this particle, right? Now, we just have to put down the values. So what is given to us? The length is this. The diameter of cross section has been given to us of 0.02 kg is the mass of that stone and the cord's length was increased by 22 centimeters stretches by 20 centimeters this is delta l this is l this is the diameter so we can find the area and when we just put down the values this velocity has been given to us y can be simply this and this will be cancelled you will get l by delta l whole square into m v square divided by area into l so if you put down the values, you will get y as 2.3 into 10 to the power 6 Newton per meter square, right? So order of y or the Young's modulus would be simply option number 4. That's all for this paper, friends. I hope your paper fetched you complete marks in physics. I wish you all the best for the J advanced section. So now we will be solving the 
evening session of 8th April. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much.